Hi guys, it's Tammy, Ruzi, and Tito here, and we're sharing one of our Instagram live sessions with you guys. Make sure you go at your own pace. If you find it too challenging, dim it down a little bit. Maybe go back to our videos prior to this one and gain some strength so you can continue off with this week's session. As always, you guys, don't forget to subscribe to our channel and like and share this video. We are going to start with our glute bridges. So make sure you're on your back. But remember, we're bringing our feet together and knees are going to be apart, okay? So if I were to show you here, I'm like this. Hands are on the mat, and from here, you're going to squeeze up and down. That's one, up, two, three, four, five, Six, seven, eight, nine, one more, and ten. The so same position, bring your and feet ten. all the way up, hands underneath you. Five. And even make sure you go into a dorsi flexion if you can, so point your toes towards yourself. Make sure those legs are straight. If this is challenging for you and that low back is lifting off the ground. Oh man. Three. Three. No, it's the play. Four. Five. Six. Seven. What's my stretch with that? Your stretch on the same one. Knee to chest. Nine. Here we go. Make sure, guys, that that low back is not coming off the ground. And it's totally fine if you can't go too high. Okay? Just make sure as long as that low back stays flat on the ground and you're feeling your core engaged, we're good to go. You're too cute, puppy. You're too cute. Thanks for peeing on my favorite mat. Okay, <laughs> guys, again with this, you can either hold on top or you can hold on underneath, right? Fine. You want to stay with me for flip bridges? Get, here you go, some extra weight. Now guys, when you're doing this one, I want you to again, with everything else we do, engage that core. Okay? Try to keep that spine neutral. There we go. And the closer you can bring your heel towards your glutes, the more you're going to work your glutes. Good job. Okay, and with your leg raises, guys, if this is... Well, <laughs> if this is too challenging for you, kill the range. So, Sammy, kill the range a little bit. Exactly. Maybe go from like a 90 to like a 45 degree. You don't need to go all the way down. If you feel like you have enough strength and that low back is not coming off the ground, take it all the way down. Okay, and even if that's easy for you, you can take your hands off your lower back and make sure you just keep that low back pinned. Leave him, leave him. He's fine. Yeah, I'm peeing on my pad again. It's done. Okay. There we go. Oh, set number two? Yeah. Not the hair. Okay, you guys, let's do third set again. For those of you who can do the exercise with feet together, you can just go into a regular bridge, okay? And uh, it's totally fine if you can't bring your hips as far as Tammy's bringing it up. You'll work your way up there, okay? As you build more strength, the range is going to become easier for you. Good job, Tammy. And happy Friday, everyone. Make sure you're drinking tons of water. Beautiful. And that's 10, perfect. That's it, guys. Just fine. <laughs> Tito. Stop sniffing me. Okay. It's a all right guys we're almost there make sure you keep that core nice and tight 
And even while you're doing this, think about contracting your shoulder blades together as you're laying down. Perfect. And by now we should have enough core strength to be able to do this, even if you modified and you killed the range a little bit, but we should have the strength to be able to do it with both legs. That was finished with this yeah. one? Yeah. Okay. The next one is Tammy's favorite. It's the knee push-ups. Okay. Okay, if this is challenging guys, you can do push-ups on the wall. Go for it, no. Okay, now what she's gonna do, her shoulder, her hands are gonna sit slightly under the shoulders. The elbows, you don't want them to really go into a 90 degree angle. You want them to come down a little bit. So if you can pay attention, the shoulder's here, elbow is here. So it's a little bit lower than the shoulder. And she's thinking about contracting her shoulder blades together, engaging her core so her lower back doesn't dip down. Tell me that was really good. And you're doing it with a dead bug. Okay, I like dead bug. You see, why do we focus so much on core and glutes? Guys, I keep telling you guys this. Uh, we just see with our clients a lot of times, majority issue is either lower back or shoulder. Okay? And for this, for, the, for now, for four weeks, we're really concentrating on strength strengthening that low back. So we keep strengthening the glutes, we keep strengthening the core, and it's gonna ease off your low back pain as you build more strength. Tito. Okay, I don't know what he's doing over there. <laughs> That's seven, you guys. And make sure when you're doing the dead bug, as you push with one leg, the other knee, you pull it towards yourself again. Any core exercise we do, we make sure that lower back is pinned to the ground. That's it, that's 10. Perfect. Yeah, uh, your stretch is thread the needle. Okay, you guys should be a pro at this stretch by now. Maybe not as good as Tammy, she's so flexible when it comes to this stretch. But as you're pulling in with your hamstring, you're using your other arm, your other elbow to push on the leg and push that knee outwards. So fun. I'm going to try this way. Yeah. So if I'm here, I'm really trying to pull As she's pulling here. in, she's pushing this out. And the more she pushes this out, the more she can exaggerate that stretch. Tito! Oh my goodness. Okay, he's eating the carpet. There we go. Okay, you guys. I'm actually excited about the push-ups. I feel like this week I'm doing them a little bit better than last week. Maybe. Uh, cool. You're building strength. And guys, if you are feeling discomfort in the shoulders as you're doing this, I want you to forget about that end range. So once you come up, don't strain your arms all the way out. And make sure you engage that core, Tammy. Limit that dip in the low back. So you want a neutral spine, think about contracting your shoulder blades together, so chest out, shoulders back. Really engage and contract those muscles as you're using them. Okay. Let's go, round two. Good job, guys. Perfect, exhale, inhale. So every time she extends, she's gonna exhale. Okay, and then inhale. And the reason I tell you guys that, as we exhale, it's a lot easier for me to keep my low back pinned compared to when I inhale, and it's a lot easier as I inhale to lift that low back off the ground. So make sure you exhale, you keep that low back pinned, you engage your core, as you extend one leg, you pull the other knee towards your stomach. That's seven, three more you guys. Let's go. That's it guys, good job. That was round two? Mm-hmm. Beautiful, we're almost there. That's it. Let's hold the stretch a little bit longer. <laughs> oh, this dog's crazy. I don't know what he's biting. Tito. And he doesn't pay attention to us. He's like Not the king of the castle. Goes and comes as he sees it. Come on, buddy. Come on, buddy. Switch your legs, you guys. There we go. Oh, finally. Alright guys, we have one more round. And then we will move on. 
Now, if you guys have any suggestions about what we should do next week, feel more than free okay. to comment. Please leave a comment for us and we'll make a program specifically to what you guys want. If not, then I'm going to decide myself. Perfect. Make sure you keep that core nice and engaged. Limit that low back dip. Okay. Now when you're doing a knee push-up, it might be a little bit challenging to kill that uh, dip in the low back. Where what I want you to concentrate on is limiting that low back dip. Oh man, that's hard. There we okay. go. Okay, ready? I feel like the good thing about me working out with you guys is that I also had no strength when we started. <laughs> Well, you definitely did, but I definitely see the progress in Tammy. I hope you guys are feeling the progress yourself. You might not always see the results, but I want you to feel the results. I want less discomfort in your low back. I want you to, when you're doing chores around the house, things feel easier. That's seven. Come here. Eight. What's after this? After this, start the needle. Nine. And then you have... Donkey One kicks more, and you guys. scissor kicks. Ow. Tito. Okay. Alright, really, let's make it a good one. Really pull that knee in. Push your knee away from your body with your elbow. And then from here, you guys, go side to side. See where you feel the deepest stretch. Hold it there again. Bring it in. Push your knee away. There you go. And even here, concentrate on deep breaths. Breathing through your stomach and not through your lungs. Tito. Yep. There you go. Switch to the other side. Good job, guys. There we go. Donkey kick someone. Donkey kicks and scissor kicks. You remember those? This one? Mm -hmm. okay. Wow, that feels like I did that yesterday. <laughs> I know, right? Yeah. yeah. So for those of you who are experiencing knee pain, what I want you to do is just put a pillow underneath your knees, okay? You want to hmm? Are you feeling pain? No, no, I'm okay. All right, guys, when we're doing this, so make sure hands are underneath the, the shoulders, knees are lined up with the hips. You really want to level your hips out, and you need to engage that core and limit that dip in your low back again. Now, when we're doing this, it's a lot easier to... To do this, right? Mm -hmm. Eight. There we go. That's it. There we go. And even here, I would think about keeping that dorsiflexion, so pointing that toe towards myself. Uh, and it's really hard to control that bend. Sometimes it ends up kicking out. If you can put a mirror in front of yourself to see if you can record yourself, to see how you're doing this would help. Engage that core a little bit more. There we go. Okay. All right, guys. Now, again, as I said last time, you guys, with this, I personally prefer to, prefer to point my toes and then again, squeezing my quad so I push my knee away from my body and you figure out where you want to do this. Easy, and then as you go down, it becomes harder. Exactly. Just make sure again that low back is not coming off the ground. Okay? That's four. And constant in and out breathing. You want to make sure your muscles run on oxygen. So constantly feed it. Because the less you fatigue, the better you're going to do an exercise. Beautiful. So constant in and out. Especially with core exercises, we tend to. Your stretch is a pigeon. Okay. Uh, especially with core exercises, we tend to really hold our breath in, uh, especially as it gets more challenging. So make sure it's constant in and out breathing. So you guys, we've done this before. Again, just make sure that you're not cheating yourself, that your body's not going to one side, you're right in the middle, and from there you go down. Perfect. And again, you're concentrating on deep breaths. Tito! He's not listening at all. Let's switch to the other side. 
again, go into that quadruped position, bring one knee forward, slide it out, and go into that stretch. If you want to make this harder, always you can just bring your foot up a little more. That's okay. Tito. And then go all the way down. And again, you might not have Tammy's range, but I guarantee you, you do this stretch every day for six months, you'll you'll be close to that. Oh, range. Absolutely. There you go. Really be aware of your hips here, okay? You're for sure your body's wanna, going to want to compensate. Exactly, and it's going to kick that or hip this. out. Or that one. That one is definitely a no-no, so play with the range that that low back doesn't dip. If you go all the way up, 100% I guarantee you, you're going to feel some tension in that low back, and I don't want you to feel any tension in the low back. I want you to feel a burn right in your glutes. Newspaper. What do you want to bite? You want to bite? Nope. You can't go there too. Perfect, guys. And she's going to exhale as she goes up. Inhale as she brings it down. Okay, guys, ready? Put those hands underneath your bum and let's do it. One, two. So why the, what does this do when we cross? So we're really engaging that core, okay? And this one is kind of, it's a core exercise that it's constant stress on your abs, okay? And again, the more stress we put on the muscle, the better workout we get. Ready, guys, let's switch. Okay. So again, you're here, but you want to move forward, slide and go back before you lie all the way down. Make sure your hips are squared off and then slowly go all the way down. There we go, found something you like. <laughs> Buddy, you're gonna bring that shirt. Okay, let's switch to the other side. My shirt. So again, when we're reading about training a Yorkie puppy, so like it's one of the third hardest to train but one reason is because they're so cute and their um, owners are always bending them, them. Yeah. Yeah. and we read we read all these after <laughs> we purchased the dog <laughs> oh, Ooh, yeah. really, such a bundle of joy like and <laughs> me and Tammy grew up with the Yorkie we had one for yeah, almost we 16 years so I feel like a Yorkie was the way to go. Okay, sorry, I forgot my hand. Okay, ready? Again, make sure hands underneath the shoulders, engage that core. Even more than that time, engage that core. Engage your uh, shoulder blades, so squeeze your shoulder blades together. Look at you, you're going crazy. Make sure you feel the burn in your glutes, and I don't want you to feel tension in your low back. <laughs> What's up? Alright guys, we're almost there. And we might have to add an exercise for next week. So right now we're doing supersetting three exercises, so a total of six. Um, but you guys seem to be streaming through them. Dude, what's going on? That's okay, we'll do a couple more core stuff at the end, okay? What's going on? Alright guys. What's going on? This is my third side? Yes. Okay, point your toes up, make sure your core is tucked in, and find okay, where you want to stay at, and you're let's do it. One, two, three. Almost there, five, guys. Five, okay, stop. Six, seven. Eight, nine. There you go. Make sure you really feel that burn in your core. Ooh. Yeah? Yeah. Okay. And I find that when you're doing like an exercise like this, something that's great to do is uh, try to, if you count, you know you're breathing, right? So again, square off your hips and go all the way down. Exactly. Uh, guys, please let me know what you guys think or we should do next week. I was thinking we go a little bit more into posture. 
Okay, so a lot of upper back exercises. We have done some of them like the supermans, but we would do different variations of them. Um, I'm still going to keep some compound exercises like squats in there. But just let me know if you guys have any suggestions. What's going on? There we go. We're not sleeping, guys, honestly. <laughs> Our sleeping hours have plummeted. Hi, baby. Okay, okay stop. Everyone. Stop that. That's a good workout. I definitely feel it. One thing is that with the donkey kicks, I find that if you feel like you're pushing with the bottom of your heel into the ceiling, you really feel it way more. I hope you guys enjoyed this video. Um, please make sure you support us, you share our videos, you like our videos, and you subscribe to our channel. Thanks, guys. <laughs>